I am a Let's Player. I play games and record them for entertainment purposes. I may take up a persona or personality to differentiate myself from others. This persona is believed to be fake, but it can be real too. That leaves my viewers guessing. How'd you like my G-Man impression? Do you think I could get into the Union? Welcome back to Psychonauts. Previously, we went exploring in Steve Blum the level, where most of the characters are voiced by Steve Blum. And also, there's these girls everywhere. Stop following me! Ow! I'm only trying to make money for our organization, sir! Yeah, that's what they all say when I set them on fire. But I forgot some things in this level before continuing. Because this is an adventure game type level, it has a lot of hidden things that you would not expect to find. Like behind here, where we would get the, uh, the hedge trimmers, is the steamer trunk tag in the backyard. And also, at the house where you use the hedge trimmers, there's also a pair of baggage there. Or a tag of baggage. And we have to use the hedge trimmers to get back there. You wouldn't expect to like check back there, unless you're getting here. figments. I was a getting figments, this is my folly. I'm not good at adventure games, apparently. But now we can continue with the story, which is actually at the cemetery. We have to find the tomb of the milkman. What is inside? Could it be the milkman? Well, obviously, it's the tomb of the this milkman. It has to have the milkman in it. it. That means this is a short level. I am a grieving widow. Indeed you are, Raz. Ah, I see that you are grieving. I will give you your space. Look at all the grieving widows. They're totally not government agents at all. You're crazy for thinking that. And also, I need fire. I need a little fire in my day. Yes, burn. The Man, cemetery is filled no one with dead all this fire. No, fire is totally normal in a graveyard. I wish my loved one was. I should dead, know. But I've been alive. to many graveyards in my time. And that gets us not the milkman. This is supposed to happen. What were you doing in the cemetery? Are you a grieving widow? Where are your flowers? What did you find in the mausoleum? Who is the milkman? That book you found was dynamite. Blows the whole thing wide open. It does? Yes, I knew it. I was completely wrong about everything, but now I've got it. That book came from the book depository. They must want to make us think that's where they want us to go because they think we'll think we know they know we know, so we won't go. So I shouldn't go to the book depository? Of course you're going to the book depository. Take the sewers. Watch out for watchers and radioactives and perpetrators. Some of those sewer workers are involved, I think. You'll need one of these. Now we're talking. It's fake. It will help you fit in around the other assassins. Assassins? Wait a second. Beware the cows! Not all milk is enriched! So, we've got ourselves a gun. But it's fake. It's fake. I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of me. Yeah, those assassins really love to judge. Don't look at me! I'm not I'm not using a fake gun, I swear! So we gotta head to the book depository now, which is in the sewers. We can have that item already, but I decided to go and get the book first. Which, oddly enough, since I already got caught by the G-Men, you would think they would have taken the book off me, but I guess they're not that bright. And also, that is not my levitation power. Neither is that. Give me that back. I need to have my Psy Blast at all times. It's what I do. I'm a road crew worker. Look at me road crew it up. Testing. Testing. We're totally fixing this road. We want to make it a straight line next time instead of a really messed up like it's some kind of Sonic level. I need That's where we need to go. Right there. Tools. But we don't have the item to get in there just yet. That's a cemetery. It's officially dead to us. I discovered everything that needs to be discovered there. What we need to head to is all the way at the end of this particular part of the level. To the post office! A lot of people call it a store. I'm convinced it's a post office because of the sign right here. And we also need this. Very easy to miss. It's a watering can! I'm watering. Yes you are, Raz. You are watering that car pretty good. We don't need this to continue the story, but we need that to get some of the power-ups around this area. Especially that one with the housewives. 
I'm up here just because I need figments, and this is exactly what a post office roof looks like. There's completely nothing wrong with these boxes at all. That did not move. I deny everything. So, we have to enter a code, but we don't know it. I have a special trick to know the code. Randomly hit buttons. Maybe the code is the birthday of La Milana. No! They never played La Milana! Get out of here! That guy will come outside, so we use clairvoyance on him. That is not clairvoyance. Neither's that. Even though I shot him, he still entered the code anyway. Like he didn't know or something. Oh well. That code changes every time you play the game, so if you try playing it now and enter that code, it ain't gonna work! I'm sorry. Now we know the code. 5210. Now that guard is gonna be standing right there, right? I mean, he's the guard. But no! He's nowhere to be found. There's just figments. And a suitcase. Excellent, I had a tag for that. And this is where the game tries to stop you. If you don't have telekinesis or a cobweb duster, you can't go any farther. And also if you have too many items, it tells you you need to check out your items. All you have to do is hit a button. But you absolutely need the cobweb duster and telekinesis or you'll never ever finish this level. Now it's completely dark in here, what can I do? What I can do is use clairvoyance on inanimate objects. Now it's Metal Gear Solid. It allows us to navigate this area pretty well. Otacon, I can't see a damn thing in here. And I think there's a snake crawling around. Uh, snake? Snake? SNAKE! There's no snake here, I'm a chocobo. Oh! Do you like anime? Come on, you know I was gonna make fun of Otacon without being an anime freak. And now I'm a plumber. You can't see what I'm holding because this is night vision, not plumber vision. I'm sorry. It doesn't work like that. You're silly. Get out of here. But now I'm a sewage worker! Yay! I can go and do sewage things. But not right yet. What the heck is this? Where the hell am I now? What is that thing? That doesn't look like the milkman! That's because it isn't! That is one of Mia's nightmares. That's what the boss is supposed to look like. But, um, uh, they removed the reason I have this boss. But for some reason, they did not remove the ability to not have this boss. Dropping it to half HP summons a whole bunch of claws. Just strafing back and forth helps. And this thing will also try to grab you if you get too close. And he'll drag you underground and bash you up a whole bunch. That was really close. He'll try to also ground claw you too. Even though the Cyclaw is pretty good, I'd like to use the Psy Blast. And I need telekinesis to grab these things and toss them at that thing. I say that thing because I don't understand what the heck that's supposed to be. A giant space flea from nowhere, maybe. But that's it! That's the Nightmare Boss. I hope you enjoyed him. We'll never see him again, I swear. He's a deleted boss, after all. They're not going to make the same mistake twice, right? Did anybody see that? I got kidnapped by a giant space flea. No? Nobody? Okay. I guess it's completely normal in this neighborhood to get abducted by space fleas. Oh well. Now we can head back to the guy that was watering his lawn. And we can enter that house now. There's another item right there. Now I'm a watering guy. I'm just a normal guy in his backyard on Saturdays. This is a fine watering can. May I ask how much you paid for it? About as much as a gallon of milk. Do you know about milk? Do you know how much milk costs? Plants need to well, have water. Well, I'm gonna water inside here and become a housewife. Water. Why the heck not? Come with us. And get arrested because housewives are not allowed to be with wa round watering can guys. Yep, I forgot it again. You're supposed to be equipping the right item if you're running out of a house like that. Do you know where we have to use the rolling pin and make pies? We're gonna make lots of pies. At the house where you use the hedge clippers to get inside. And this time I swear I will remember the hedge clippers. I don't want to get arrested like the third time this level. Or ever. I don't want to get arrested by G-Men ever. 
I'm a law-abiding psychic citizen. I like I can to any phone yes, you do, Raz. Let's so trim the hedges inside hedges and become housewife while those guys yammer on at us. I am making a pie. I am making a pie. I hope you are not trying to sting my husband, Tramp. Wait, what did you say? What do you see me as? That's not the right button. Why don't you come That's not the right you button either. Guy. That's who you get Hello, for being a tramp. Please stay and make oh, hey, I am another housewife. I am intruding on her territory. All of their territories. Now I have pyrokinesis. An upgrade. The fire will explode and burn more people. Nope. I'll see you later, Nancy. I'm going elsewhere. And also, I really don't like how those guys will uh, overwrite their dialogue like that. Here to help me trim these hedges. It's really annoying. Can't they have just like one of those guys in an area? That would be so much better for listening to them, because they say some funny stuff. It just keeps on getting interrupted. And now it's time to become a sewage worker. Hello, Sula Worker. I think I met you at the union meeting. Yes, the G-Man union meeting. They got Freddy. Poor Freddy. He was such a good secret agent. I mean, assassin. Who is shooting at us? There's someone shooting at all the assassins. I am an assassin. Who can it be? Adjustments need to be made. That's William Shatner as, uh, as one of those G-Men. I don't know. Him or Steve Blum, who do you think would be better? But we're on a single solitary island filled with assassins. Welcome to Death Island. And we need a rifle! I'm worried the other assassins are gonna make fun of myself. Let's talk to one of them. Maybe they won't make fun of you. It's fake. I'm worried the other And also that red light means danger. You need your shield immediately. Any button will do. Don't broadcast do that kill out of passion. If that money. thing hits you, you it's an instant death. On rooftops, in clock Apparently towers, that assassin does not want me talking to the other assassins. Even though I myself am an assassin. Need to be made when firing in the wind. You cannot dodge that. I've tried. You lose a life every single time you get hit. I had like one life left before I realized, hey, I need shield. And back here is the steam trunk. And also, I don't think he can get arrested immediately in front of the uh, depository, but better safe than sorry. So, inside the book depository, let's face our killer. Our attempted killer. That's completely cobweb-free. I'm a good housewife. I mean, assassin. I mean, road crew worker. Freeze! Don't come any closer. I'll never tell you the location of the milkman. Never! Okay, let's all just settle down and talk. Where is the milkman? Who is the milkman? What is the mission of the milkman? Uh, come closer. <coughs> and <coughs> I'll tell you. <coughs> Glad I never bought any of those. Hmm. The view from up here is pretty good, but I still can't see enough. I need a way to get even higher. Like, super high. As if I were flying. I know! Maybe I could find some stilts! There's totally not some kind of machine that flies around and goes really, really high! Absolutely not! I think we're stuck, folks. Next time on Psychonauts, we discover more about the Milkman Conspiracy. Apparently the Girl Scouts and the G-Men are against each other. What's that about? But first we need to find a flying machine, and I don't know where to find one of those. Good night, folks.